Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to game number two between Gosu T-Gun and Vile Illusion. Vile Illusion once again spawning as Protoss in the top right-hand corner of 6M Shakur's Plateau. Yes, and his opponent, Gosu T-Gun, spawning as Zerik, because that is, in fact, the race that he did choose, not a random player like Illusion is. Now, Illusion was Protoss last game, and he did lose, and it definitely wasn't a bad, bad, like, convincing loss, but it was kind of... It was almost one-sided, I would say. I mean, T-Gun really played really excellent under there, and Illusion, unfortunately, just lost too much to those mutas. So, hopefully, he'll be able to hold on in this game. And as Yaki is saying in the chat, I forgot to mention, Illusion is actually not a part of Vile anymore. Vile did get absorbed by Quantic, so it's now Quantic Illusion, which is totally the best name in StarCraft 2. <laughs> it's going to be very difficult for him to fit that in underneath the uh, kind of strict uh, yeah. restrictions that are for how many letters you're allowed to have. Quantic obviously having a pretty <laughs> large number of letters for him to try to deal with. Um, so just looking at this game, this is on uh, 6M Shakur's Plateau, as I mentioned earlier. It's pretty much the same as ordinary Shakur's Plateau, just with the reduced bases. Uh, I'm sorry, reduced resources at each base. And so Illusion's going for what's a very standard strategy here. Once again, the Forge Fast Expand uh type strategy and he's really gonna need to be paying attention though to what his opponent is doing just because mutalisks as we saw in the previous game are so potent against protoss that are not ready for them indeed so we do see t-gun coming down here to his natural wants to go ahead and expand not too worried excuse me about any kind of two gate pressure or anything that illusion could possibly go for obviously he scouted the forge um and in fact illusion will be expanding at the same time unless he's just trying to completely trick his opponent so we'll see how their builds do line up against each other, and uh, I'm really looking for Illusion to win this. I hope that he makes third place, but if he doesn't, um, that's okay. T-Gun's a very, very good player, um, and actually, I believe, is he the one that took out Rainbow? Um, I'm pretty sure he is. I believe you are correct, but yeah. I would need to double check it right now. Also, just take a look, quick look at this scouting pattern on the... Uh, drone around yeah. T-Gun's natural. I love that. It's just making doubly, doubly, triply, 57 waypoint sure that his opponent is not doing any kind of cannon rushes. I don't think that he liked losing that third base to the cannon pressure, and he knows that his opponent got the forge first, which means you do kind of have to pay attention to when are those, uh, or what is that first probe doing. Yeah, indeed, and something also asked you in the chat is if Illusion has been playing random the whole time, he has indeed been playing as random the entire time. So for him to make it to the third and fourth place match is pretty impressive, I've gotta say. Yeah, the first set he dropped was against Gonzi. Once again, yeah. the total <laughs> boss, Terran. Um, and definitely a very, very serious contender for just winning the entire tournament. So absolutely uh, just fantastic play from Illusion to even be able to get that far. Now, one thing I'm really kind of interested in, taking a quick look at the front of Illusion's base, he hasn't thrown down a photon cannon. He's been just keeping a very close eye on what his opponent is doing. He saw the spawning pool timing, and right now is kind of like, you know what? He's not going to have many Zerglings out fast at all. I know that he went for the hatch first build. I know that it takes a little bit longer for units to spawn just in general in FRB, and I, he's probably not going to make that many Zerglings anyway, and he's totally right. There's only two currently moving out on the field, and so he he might just completely skip all photon cannon production and instead kind of rely on like the threat, the uh, uh, hint of a photon cannon being there in order to uh, take his expand. Yeah, indeed. So we do see these two Zerglings making it up into Illusion's ramp. He does see that there is a gateway as well as a forge. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice a little bit. And a cybernetic score just now finished, so he's. Not really gonna. Well, I mean, he's gonna know that Illusion's not really got too many units. As a matter of fact, isn't just now getting a Zealot and is actually able to take out both of those Zerglings. So, looking at the units lost by Vile, Illusion has a huge lead right now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Illusion also really probing up and definitely working to uh, try to make the most out of his economic advantage, obviously getting up his Nexus at almost the same time as his opponent got his Hatchery up. However, I do think Gosu Tigon might be looking to punish this. Mm -hmm. He has the Baneling Nest morphing right now as a pretty large bank of minerals and gas. Yeah, Gosu Tigon realizing that Illusion got his Cybernetic score kind of a little bit late, and now Illusion sitting at only one gateway. Ooh, that's never a good place for a Protoss player. And he's going to definitely need some more weapons to handle all of these Zerglings. Of course, there's a Baneling that's completed, and make that eight Banelings being morphed in right now, along with the support of some Zerglings, it is going to be almost impossible for Illusion to hold this. 
Oh no, he morphed in a second, or warped in a second zealot. He did oh. not immediately go for the sentry, and I really feel like that might be a game-losing mistake right here. Obviously, saving up your gas for later can be really nice, but not when you desperately need a force field of some kind. All of these Zerglings streaming oh, wow. into the base. The Banelings did waste themselves against the pylons. That's a little bit of a win, and right now, oh, we see Illusion just trying to wall off, but he loses the pylon, and so does the, or the cannon goes unpowered. Yeah, losing that pylon was super, super unfortunate. Now, he had some really good micro there. I've got to say, using the chokes from his building twice with the zealots, was able to absorb actually a lot of banes and zerglings. But it does look like a zerg player, T-Gun, is going to manage to get into Illusion's base. Illusion, once again, desperately trying to wall off with as many structures as he can, taking out one pylon right there. And oh no, T-Gun makes it into the main base of Illusion. These probes are super, super vulnerable right now. And uh, even more explosions going off right there. Super, super bad. And there we see a pylon finally going going down that will unpower every single one of these buildings. Illusion is forced to pull back his probes and they are gonna get surrounded by these circles. Fortunately they're micro to the mineral patches. Illusion is holding on for dear life. Unfortunately, he just doesn't have the supply. He has uh, six gates available right now and the money to make just a ton of sentries, which could probably hold off this attack. He just doesn't have enough supply to be able to do it right now. Five more sentries uh, morphing in. So he might be able to make a last desperate hold at the top of his ramp. He's trying to get some kind of wall in going and is chasing the Zerglings away from his main. But if he loses that main nexus, it's just going to be so hard for him to recover. Ooh, and he keeps those banlings off the sentries for now. So unfortunately, that he did so unfortunate that he did not have those sentries earlier and as we can see here the pylon that was powering uh, all six of these gateways did get taken out and T-Gun with the excellent timing very smart play against Illusion does force Illusion to GG for now uh, such an unfortunate way to lose the third place match yeah. that entire game was a game of inches he just barely didn't make the wall he just barely didn't get the sentries out in time in order to save that main nexus like over and over again if he'd been just a second faster his opponent had been just a second slower he would have been totally fine and able to recover but this is unfortunately not quite able to do it yeah so so unfortunate all right guys well um, is there anything left on the schedule because I don't actually have it pulled up or we're going to go straight into the finals. This is moving into the grand okay. finals. Everybody stay tuned. It's going to be, as we can <laughs> see from Vibe taking the victory right there, go to Vibe against Complexity Gonzi. Best of five. Yeah, I am so excited. This is going to be so, so good. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and switch over to the waiting stream. Oh, actually, wait, real oh. quick before we switch over. This is everybody's absolute last, 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 last chance. Right. If you want to have the chance to win Battlefield 3, uh, Amazon.com gift vouchers, um, the Korean StarCraft 2 account, all kinds of other amazing things that Your Pro is offering, you need to right now, right, right, right now, because the second that uh, we know the end of the first match, you're not allowed to do it anymore, go to Your Pro, make an account, and tweet at FRB Grand Tourney your prediction of is Vibe or is... Um, uh, Gonzi, that guy, yeah. Is uh, Viber, is Gonzi going to win this final match? And you need to include a link to your profile, which uh, is the profile that will be getting that prize. Yeah, and it looks like your webcam just died out, so I think that's a good chance to go ahead and switch it to the waiting screen. Um, Alrighty. Yep, so guys, we will be right back. Just going to take a really, really quick break, and we'll go into the grand finals at the FRB Grand Tournament, so don't go anywhere. 